Hey everybody, this is Mark Bozon, and I'm here to give you guys the video review for Mega Man 9. Capcom was out to try and take Mega Man 9 in a totally different direction than most of the downloads we see out there. Things like Bionic Commando Rearmed will be something that's completely remade, but with a game like this, they're actually going back to the 8-bit era and making something that feels more like Mega Man 2 than it does something that's been made even in the last 15 years. It ends up being a pretty bold move, but in the end, it works great. I mean, you have things like the presentation, which is completely spot on. You get the music that is awesome. The characters, the level design, everything kind of lines up, and they do it with a lot of these little subtleties that make you feel like you are playing an 8-bit game. Mega Man 9 is a $10 download, so you expect to get a little bit for your money, and you know what, there is some stuff in there. What it's going to come down to, though, is the basic core gameplay, which takes, you know, a few hours to get the first time you go through it, but then you can probably speedrun in about 45 minutes to an hour uh, if you've got said skills to pay the bills as far as 8-bit gaming is concerned. On the presentation side, Capcom made sure to include things that felt like an 8-bit game. So you've got things like sprite popping, you've got faked rotation, low-frame animation, and uh, a lot of like little tearing issues that you'd find in an old NES game, and they're in here. Some of those things are optional, you can turn them off in the menu. Other ones are just you know part of the game. It's designed to look and feel like an 8-bit game. But you know what, if you've been following this game, you know that already. What it really comes down to is how are the master robots, how are the levels, and is this game truly rewarding, and does it rival the best in the series? The level design in 9 is some of the best you're going to see in 8-bit Mega Man history. Uh, Galaxy Man is awesome and really innovative, and Magma Man is perfect for doing speedruns. Then of course you've also got the Wily stages that are a blast and a mix of all the different things, and some pretty crazy boss battles at the end of the game, which we're not going to talk too much about. Some of the weaponry in the game can be a little bit unbalanced. Uh, you know, things like Jewel Man look exactly like Wood Man did, and it seems like we use the Trident and uh, the Concrete Gun on pretty much everything in this game because they did the most damage. Um, but you know, all in all, it is a really good mix, and they did some truly innovative things with the guns themselves. As of course you'd expect, every character has his own weakness for guns, but uh, you know, if you go in with a Mega Buster, you're going to get different challenges completed. So uh, you know, the hardest of hardcore definitely have their work cut out for them. Even though other people can kind of muscle through the game and do it old school style, where they look online, figure out who they can beat with who, and uh, get through it that way. Even when you do know the order, though, this is still a very hard game. You don't have the slide anymore like you used to have in some of the 8-bit games. There's no charge shot either. And the uh, you know enemy spawns are predictable. I mean, they come out the same spot every time, but they're extremely brutal. It makes it perfect for speedruns, but again, some people are just going to get their butt kicked. And, uh, you know, welcome back to 8-bit gaming, man. you got to earn it one tile at a time. For those that start rising their ranks and dealing justice where it's due by the end of this game, uh, there is a lot to see once you're finished. you got downloadable content, which is on the way, and uh, we know a little bit about some of it, and it sounds pretty cool. Uh, the Classic Shop also adds some cool support items, and also a little bit of fan service. You can take the helmet off of Mega Man and run around, and buy piles of E-Tanks uh, if you want to just muscle your way through the game. And then, as we said, you know the trials and ranking systems are going to make this one awesome for speedruns, and 50-plus uh, challenges, which border between being really easy, just you know automatic unlocks, and uh, some that are completely insane. Bottom line is that Capcom gave us exactly what we wanted with Mega Man 9. I mean, it feels like Mega Man 2, maybe a little bit like Mega Man 3. Uh, it's not as innovative as something like Lost Winds or Braid or something on the other downloadable services, but uh, it's a kick-ass throwback title, and it rivals some of the best 8-bit Mega Mans out there. For that reason and that reason alone, I mean, it's worth dropping 10 bucks and just getting into the nostalgia and the fun that comes with playing another game like this. For the full written review, check out IGN.com.